Hi friends, this is Kiyoma. I'm getting ready to show you how to put the grooves in our little acorn caps we made. We're starting out with some 80 grit sandpaper on a homemade little mandrel I made with a piece of tough leather in the back, some 80 grit sandpaper, and then this little flap of paper is actually a gasket so that little screw doesn't burn through your paper. Without it, it'll fly off, but with it, you'll get a lot of use out of this paper, and it will grind flat. I've got some snags on here, so before I start, I'm putting on my goggles because the sandpaper flies everywhere, and I'm going to just, with a little bit of pressure here, turn on my machine, and it's going to burn a perfect line and smooth my paper up. Nice. This is how we're going to put the grooves in our acorn. It's also how we put all the veins in our leaves. No name. So we're going to take our little acorn, starting at the bottom. We're going to go from the bottom around to the top, around to the top. A little bit wider at the bottom of each one. You start wide at the bottom and then as you turn to the top it gets smaller and you get little diamond shapes. They remind me of little harlequin socks. So you start at the bottom So, count our lines, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I'm gonna go the opposite direction, spiraling. And I love it because at this point, they look like chocolate little ice cream cones. And if you're thinking, man, I should carve some chocolate ice cream cones, you are right. You should. So, same idea. We start at the bottom of this line and go across to the top bottom across to top and after a few of them your diamond pattern will be really evident That's it, you have the little spiral. A little bit rough around the edges right now. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your sandpaper and go on the edges and soften out every angle. That's one side. Then you turn your acorn over and you go back the other. Getting there. But that's still only one direction. Now you have to do the other direction we did. You're really just doing a crisscross pattern. I know it sounds weird, but you're just hitting every edge with the sandpaper so you have a nice smooth edge. See that? Then 
we will drill a hole, a tiny little drill bit, from the bottom to the top. You never want to go from the top to the bottom because after going through the hardwoods and a couple acorns, your um, bit will warp and you will probably blow out the side of the bottom of the acorn. And after all that work, it's really a bummer. And you end up just having to throw it away and start over. So you will drill from the bottom to the top. And when it comes time for that, you stick this guy in here. And then you realize you didn't, there you go. You drill all the way through. That hangs here. You come out the top. Snip your guy. Twist a loop. These are called findings for people who don't know. These are eye pins because they have a little deal on the bottom. Twist and you have yourself a darling little hang loop. Look at that. You've made a pendant. And now with a ring you could hang these off of anything. You've just made yourself the cutest little acorn pendant. Make two of them. you got a set of earrings. There you go. Jump rings. These are jump rings in case people don't know. It's a little tiny split ring. A split ring is like a little keychain. This is called a jump ring and you open it to the side, a pair of pliers. They have a little tool but they don't fit my fingers so I just use pliers. You'll slide the jump ring through your leaf hole, close it up. Yep. And then you'll put a little another loop on there and you can hang them off of anything. You're good to go. So I hope this was helpful. And I hope you are making all kinds of cool stuff. See? Piles of them. Start out with piles. I always start with at least 10 because 10 is a project. Um, start with 25. You have a couple of projects and much more things you can do with it. Because after all that work, you don't want to just do one or two at a time. So I found it is a lot easier if you just do a whole bunch of them at once. Like this was one piece. I traced it out on a piece of oak, got my leaf shape, I drew three guidelines on the side, sliced it on my bandsaw, look, now I have three. It's that simple. Make yourself a bunch. Cut out 10-15 blocks, slice them all, and then you can just spend a whole afternoon out on the porch with your dogs like I'm doing and just set yourself up for a bunch of cool projects. When you seal them, I use clear acrylic sealer. I lay them all out nice and flat, make sure there's no touching. Nice little coat, really soft because if you do it too hard, they blow away and they end up getting hairs and fuzzies all stuck to them. So a couple of nice little squirts and they're really good to go. There's not a lot of work you have to do to them. You can get more detail oriented all you want, but I like the natural look a little bit rough. So have a good time. Carve, carve, carve.